Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You have something immensely powerful inside of you. The primal force that danced on the waters of creation is pent up in your bones. And the same wind that knit sinews and filled lungs in the days of Ezekiel gives you breath. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead lives in you. When you were soaked in the baptismal waters, baptismal waters at the font, you walked away sealed and filled with the Holy Spirit. And so you have something immensely powerful inside of you. And that Holy Spirit means to work through your life. The Holy Spirit of God intends to guide and direct your life on this planet to possess you and govern your attitudes and actions. The ancient spirit is looking to change the world into something more beautiful and to do that holy work through you. And today, you are being called by God and the church to allow the fruits, the gifts, the evidence of the Spirit to be unleashed in your life. By virtue of your baptism, every Christian is charged to make this world more like heaven. Today, those who will be confirmed and received will recommit to this work of ministry. You are being asked to allow the animation of the Holy Spirit to define your existence, to define your legacy, to be the reason you live and move and have your being. And if you agree to live in the Spirit, you will find that the fruit of the Spirit is self-control. In this world, you will need self-control. People will hurt you in this life. They will be cruel at times. They will say mean things and do bad things. And you will want to get revenge. Hurt them back. But if you do, the cycle of violence in this world will never be broken. And pain will only increase. And so the Holy Spirit will give you self-control. So that you can forgive those who hurt you. And make this world a more merciful place. And you will find that the fruit of the Spirit is gentleness. In this world you will need gentleness. There are a lot of jagged edges in this place. People can be rough with each other. Sometimes even rough with you. But if you look closely, you will see that those rough people are carrying broken hearts. And so the Holy Spirit will give you gentleness so that you can hold those broken hearts until they can be pieced back together. And in your hands, this world will become a gentler place. And if you agree to live in the Spirit, you will find that the fruit of the Spirit is faithfulness. This world can be fickle. There are so many options on the shelves, streaming into our homes, pushing into our hearts. There's so many distractions, and those distractions promise discontent and make for a weary world that feels unmoored. Too many people feel there is nothing they can count on in this life. And so the Holy Spirit will give you faithfulness so that you can witness to the one thing that we can always count on, the powerful, unconditional love of our faithful God. 
And you will find that the fruit of the Spirit is generosity. We live in a culture with a scarcity mindset. We are told that we can never have enough, never get enough, not enough money, not enough stuff. And so the Holy Spirit will give you generosity so that you will be a blessing. Invest what you have in the world of God's dreams. Give to those things that make the world better. Not just better for you, but better for everyone. Plant your seeds in the rich soil of goodness and watch them grow into the kingdom of God. And if you agree to live in the Spirit, you will find that the fruit of the Spirit is kindness. Kindness can be hard to come by these days. We are assaulted by meanness. Tearing down others is one of our nation's most successful industries. Don't read the comments has become a kind of folk wisdom. And this is an election year, so it'll only get worse. And so the Holy Spirit will give you kindness. And your kindness will be like a brilliant flame in the darkness of our times. Your kindness will make this world so much more beautiful. And you will find that the fruit of the Spirit is patience. Patience is pretty countercultural these days. Everything in this technological world moves so fast. In your life, in school, in work, everything will feel urgent. And at times, it will be difficult to think, to breathe, to pray. And so the Holy Spirit will give you patience. And that patience will make space in this crowded world. And it will allow others to breathe more deeply. And find a spiritual center in which wholeness can emerge. Because of you, the world will slow down a bit. And people will remember to admire the new daffodils. And stand quietly in a warm breeze. And if you agree to live in the Spirit, you will find that the fruit of the Spirit is peace. Wars rage around the world. Violence infects so many lives. The nations rage. And so the Holy Spirit will give you peace. And you will heal this world with peace. You will stand in the midst of the chaos with little more than a prayer. And you will be the calm. You will stare down the bombs and plant flowers on the killing fields. You will sow peace in an age of violence until violence is no more. Your peace will cast a vision of possibility. And you will find that the fruit of the Spirit is joy. Despair is a predator of our times, loneliness an epidemic. Our schools and workplaces are filled with desperate people. And so the Holy Spirit will give you joy. That doesn't mean you will be happy every day. Some days will be sad. But you will believe in your heart that you are loved by the God who loves the world and because of that love you will be able to assure people that in the fullness of time all will be well. And so you will give people hope. A hope that will beat back the onslaught of despair. And finally, you will find that the fruit of the Spirit is love. And love will be your superpower. Because nothing in this universe is more powerful than love. Love saves lives. 
Love transforms hearts. Love lifts up the lowly and embraces those sentenced to the margins. And so the Holy Spirit will fill you with love. Let that love seep through your pores and fall from your lips and burst forth from your heart. Let it stain your every word and deed, your every thought and action. Love the kingdom of God into existence, and you will absolutely change this world. You will. You have something immensely powerful inside of you. You are filled with the Holy Spirit. And that Spirit has given you incredible superpowers. So that you can change this world into something better. So that you can help make God's dreams come true. You are a superhero. Go out through these doors into a needy and hurting world and do something great.